Hello YouTube, this is Sambi again. I have another PowerShell nugget for you today. Today we're going to discuss about PowerShell and OOP. Oops, as in object oriented programming. So, what is OOP or object oriented programming? Well, uh, basically, you are considering everything as an object and you will handle them, handle them as an object. However, if I tell you more than this, you will get confused. Oh, I don't know anything and you will give up. So it's better to do stuff and learn rather than, you know, learn theory and try to apply it. Uh, what I call an you know, on-the-job training. I will try to do some projects uh, on each of the lessons, I don't know, which covers two, three lessons, uh, half an hour project or something. And in those things, you will learn all these things. So for now, let's uh, get a simple example. What I will do is uh, I will just say digital life, digital life. I will create an object. I will say a new object, PS object, right? So I will create a new object, PS object. Let's uh, say property. Uh, there are a lot of different ways to do this, but I'm going to show you something which is easy to remember and understand so uh, what are we gonna have here let's have my name equals ambi and then we will have twitter equals mr ambig one youtube equals ambig one height equals 6.2 i know my friends are going to laugh at this <laughs> but let's just say that weight equals hmm, 100 kg 100 okay it's a string so 100 kilograms i want to let's make it a uh, thousand kilograms i mean i'm not that heavy not at all if you google it you'll find out but just for the fun part of it uh, let's say interests uh, movies music uh, tech gaming and a lot more many other things right so what i'm going to do now here is i am going to call the object as you can see this is if you don't want to see it like this you make it ft as in format table you will see it better if i do like this right it's going to give me like a table so now i don't want to select all of that i want to i will put a here dot as you can see i can powershell ic auto suggest all these things height interests name twitter weight YouTube and all this good stuff that I have put in there. Now let's see interests. Right, so let's do an F5. So I'm going to get just the interests. So this is a glimpse of PowerShell object oriented programming. Object oriented programming, I know, is almost the same in every other programming language. Uh, what do you say? The, the funda, what we say in India, are on high level it's it's the same way that you do uh, object oriented programming in all any other language or in powershell this is how it is done we're going to look at more things later thank you for tuning in subscribe now thank you again have a beautiful day take care bye bye